so this is the payment gateway report of 30 days that is in one month i have sold out 137 copies of my online course and generated a total income of 2,75,000 indian rupees which is almost equivalent to 4,500 us dollars Hey wonderful people, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Saddam Qasim, I'm a WordPress developer. I do sell my online courses and I have generated a lot of sales. I will show you onto my laptop screen very soon. So in this video, I will show you how you can sell your online course and with just one landing page. You don't need to invest hundreds of dollars on ClickFunnels every month. We are just going to create one landing page onto the WordPress that will be a highly converting landing page. You can accept the payments with a third party payment gateway and we are not going to host your videos your course lectures onto the wordpress website but we are going to use a third party platform that's a complete lms platform where you can upload your entire course videos and number of videos you can upload over there free of cost you don't have to pay anything for hosting your course videos and then after we'll be creating a landing page on wordpress we'll be using a third party payment gateway to accept the online payments and that's all you have to do so without wasting much time we can start this video within a couple of seconds but before starting this video i have a very important announcement i'm going to do a live wordpress webinar where i will show you how easy it is to build websites with the help of wordpress and without any prior knowledge of programming and coding so if you really want to join the webinar you you can find the webinar link in the video description it's 100% free go ahead click on the link and join this webinar okay so uh, let's come back to our video and we can start building our online course website with the help of WordPress so first of all let me take you to my payment gateway dashboard and I can show you within a month how many number of sales I have generated with my landing page and my way of selling the online course so the Razorpay is the payment gateway that I use to collect payments for my online course. So this is the Razorpay payment gateway dashboard and if you can see over here, this is the Indian currency which is 2,61,259 Indian rupees which is almost equivalent to 4,000 US dollars and this is the report of just 30 days. So within a month, I have generated more than 4,000 US dollars by just selling online courses and total 136 copies of my course has been sold out. And this is the payment graph as you can see per day how many number of sales I have uh, generated. So let's go ahead first of all we can log out from here and now I can take you to my landing page. So that is my landing page saddamkasim.com where I sell my online courses. So this is my landing page where I drive traffic and people buy the course from here. This page has all the necessary information for a user in above the fold content area. That means user doesn't need to scroll down to check the course price course name and purchase button. All the necessary information are visible onto the first view of the landing page. I have also shown the countdown timer widget over here which really asks the visitor to take decision within 10 minutes. And this landing page has all the necessary elements for a better conversion like a review section to generate trust, a bonus section which encourages people to buy my course, a short description section which shows what people will achieve after buying my course, a course curriculum section which shows all the topics that I have covered in this course with buy now button in all the necessary places. So this landing page is really a highly converting page which is generating a lot of sales for me. You can create the same landing page within a few seconds. I have shared the template link in the video description. Just go over there and download this exact template. So let's go ahead and we can start building the same landing page. Firstly, we need to buy a domain name and web hosting. So I always recommend to go ahead with hostgator.com. This is one of the reliable web hosts that can speed up your landing page and speed is really a very important factor in converting the visitors into the customer. So here we can see the host creator plan is just $2.75 per month that includes your domain name as well as your web hosting plan. So you need to simply go on to this hosting and then click on shared hosting. All right. Now HostGator offers you three plans, Hatchling, Baby and Business Plan. Hatchling plan is better for just hosting one website as you can see over here single website hosting. Whereas if you have multiple websites then you can go ahead with the baby plan. So I'm just going to select the Hatchling plan. Here we can click on buy now. Now on this page you need to select your domain name. Domain name is the name of your website or I can say the URL of your landing page where you will drive the traffic. So let's say we are selecting over here ice cream 
apps 99 and .com is already selected just click on outside area and host creator will check the availability of this domain name so as you can see this domain name is available ice cream app 99.com primary domain it is free this domain will be free if you sign up for the web hosting for at least one year now leave all these extensions as it is here we have the domain privacy protection this option is really not needed it will charge you around 15 dollars per year so i will try to save your money as much as possible so just leave this option as it is now here we have choose a hosting plan option so if you have changed your mind you can select baby or business plan that's completely up to you i'm just leaving it to hashling and make sure billing cycle should be at least 12 months so we can get free of cost domain name now here you need to fill up your entire detail, your email address, your password. Here you have to create a four digit security pin just like four, five, six, seven, whatever it is. Just make a handy of these security pin because whenever you will be needing a customer support from host creator, they always ask you this security pin just to verify your identity. So just make a note of this security pin somewhere onto your computer. Then after you have to fill up your entire billing details. And here we have the payment option. Either you can make the payment through credit card or the PayPal if you have. All right, I'm not going to buy the host creator right now because I already have an account with them. So uh, this is just for the demonstration purpose. Now we have over here, add additional services. Just uncheck all these options. They really try to charge your pocket, but I will save your money as much as possible. Now here we have, enter a coupon code. This is just a default coupon code. Just remove it from here and you need to enter web27am. This is a great coupon code that can help you to save a lot of money. So let me check how much we have saved so far. Okay, here you can see discount is $77.99. Almost $78 have been saved and you just have to pay $50.53. That includes one year web hosting as well as one year domain name. None of the other hosting provider can provide you this great deal. At last you have to check this box and then click on check out now. On this successful payment, you will be receiving a welcome email from host creator. They will be sending you a cPanel login details, which is what we call control panel. So let's go ahead and we can install WordPress on the domain name. Here I have a domain name for the demonstration that is WordPress 1.site. So right now, this is just a blank website. As you can see over here, this is just a raw domain. So I'm just going to install WordPress onto this domain name. So when you buy the web hosting, you will be receiving a cPanel login details. So I'm just going to log in into my host creator cPanel. The screen will look something like this. So I have to log in over here. Okay, so this is what we call cPanel or I can say control panel where all your website files get stored. So here you can find out under the software option, site software, WordPress manager by Softaclus, Softaclus apps installer. You can find any of these type of options and all these options are helpful to install WordPress onto the domain name. So I'm just going to use this one Softaclus apps installer. It might be possible that you will be having a different uh, type of a screen onto your host creator, but do not get panic. All options are same, right? Now here you can see WordPress icon, just click on install. And we need to fill up a small form that will ask you your username password in order to install WordPress onto the domain name. So right now the first option is choose the version you want to install. This is the latest version 5.7.2 when I'm recording this video. So we do not need to touch this option. Now here choose installation URL. Make sure it should always be HTTPS secure. And from here you need to select the domain name on which you would like to install WordPress. So I'm just going to select the WordPress uh, domain from here. Okay. And leave this in directory box empty. Do not put anything in this box. After that site name. Here we have to put our website name or landing page name just like uh, for example, you are going to sell the WordPress course. So here we can type over here WordPress development course and site description we can type over here career opportunity. You can change both of these texts later on as well. Uh, enable multi-site, just keep it uh, unchecked. Do not check this box. And then after admin account, these details are really very important. Here you have to create your admin username and the admin password for your WordPress website, just like Saddam789. So this could be my username for the WordPress website. And here we can create a strong password, something like uh, India dollar one two three. This is just for the demonstration. I know it's not a strong password, but make sure you should create some strong password at your end. 
and here you have to enter your admin email address just like i'm entering my own email address adam gasim at the rate hotmail.com so make sure all these three details should be saved somewhere i'm just saving this password because you know mostly i forget the passwords all right now leave all these options as it is uh, select language should be english that's fine do not check any of these plugins do not select any of these themes just enter your email address again in this box so all those details which we fill up in this entire form these details will be sent on to this email address at last click on install button this will take a couple of seconds to install wordpress onto the domain name as we can see over here process has already been started so just wait for a couple of seconds so now we can see over here congratulations the software was installed successfully so wordpress software has successfully been installed onto the domain name now let's go ahead and we can open this domain into a new tab so i'm just copying it from here okay it's already been opened let's refresh this domain name so here you can see right now there is a basic website has already been developed when we installed wordpress onto the domain name earlier there was a blank white page now to log in into the backend area of this wordpress website after the main domain name you have to add forward slash then wp hyphen admin just hit enter and then it will ask you for the wordpress username and the password okay so this is the wordpress dashboard area where you have to enter your username and the password that you have created when you installed wordpress onto the domain name so it was saddam789 and here i can enter the password that is india dollar 123 then click on login and we can save it so this is what we call the backend area from where we can manage the entire website or entire landing page and in the new tab i'm just opening the website once again that is wordpress one dot site so this view is basically called the front end and this view is basically called the back end area or the admin panel. So from here we can manage the entire web page, we can create the content onto the web page. Now when you install WordPress the first time, by default a few plugins automatically get installed. Plugins are basically a kind of a small software or the scripts that can help you to add functionality into your WordPress website. Like we can see over here Jetpack. Jetpack is basically a plugin which is automatically installed. In the same way WP Forms is also another plugin which is used to create contact form and this plugin is also installed and activated. So I always suggest you to remove all those useless plugins which are really not used or which are really not in the need on your landing page. Just remove all those plugins. So here we can go on to the plugins and then click on installed plugins. So you will be finding a list of all the plugins which are existing onto your WordPress website. So here we can see and uh, Akismet Anti Spam, Hello Dolly, Jetpack by uh, WordPress.com. So these are some of the plugins which are already installed and activated. Just check all of these plugins. Firstly, you have to deactivate them because you cannot delete an activated plugin directly. You have to deactivate them and then after it will be deleted. So right now all these plugins are deactivated. Now again check and then go on to the bulk options, delete and apply and then OK. So all these plugins will be deleted successfully. Here we go. So all plugins have been removed. Now we need to install a new plugin. So go on to this add new at the very top or under the plugins you can click on add new link again. Now in the search plugin box you need to search for Elementor. Elementor is one of the best plugin which is used to create content with just drag and drop interface. So you do not need to deal with coding or any kind of a script writing onto your web page. Here we can see Elementor website builder. It has more than 5 million active installations and more than 5000 positive reviews. So let's install and activate this plugin. Okay, so this is the free version of the Elementor plugin that we are installing. You also need to purchase the premium version as well. Premium version hardly costs around $49 a year, but I can give you a website from where you can get the Elementor Pro version for just 10 bucks. So you need to open a website that is wpscratch.com and in the search box you need to type E-L-E-M-E-N-T-O-R Elementor. So this is the Elementor Pro page builder and on this website you can get this plugin for just $10 and you can use it on unlimited number of website. I mean you can use on n number of websites. So go on to the add to cart, buy this plugin from here and then again you have to install the same plugin into your WordPress website. So it will be downloaded onto your computer. After that you need to go on to the plugins then click on add new. 
now the elementor pro plugin will be downloaded in dot zip format so you have to upload that file into this wordpress dashboard so at the very top you can see upload plugins under the plugins and then add new section click on upload plugin then browse and locate the elementor pro plugin onto your desktop so i have a folder over here plugins and then second april okay so this is the elementor pro we just need to click on open and then install and activate this plugin so this is the premium version of the elementor that i have also bought from wpscratch.com okay let's activate it so we have two versions of the elementor the free version and the premium version that's all you have to do now go on to the appearance and then themes and we have to install a free theme so at the very top we need to click on add new now in the search theme box we have to search for astra that is astra astra is one of the best and free theme which can help you to build almost any type of website so just install and activate this theme onto your wordpress dashboard all right so we have just installed the elementor pro page builder elementor free uh, plugin as well as the astra theme now it's time to create a home page so go on to the pages then click on add new and we have to create a page with the name home okay so firstly close this guttenberg page builder pop up now in the add title box you have to type the page name just like home on the right hand side you can find out astra settings so under it you can find out this option sidebar right now it is customizer setting just make it no sidebar then content layout it should be 100% full with stretched then here you can disable the mobile header disable title breadcrumb disable featured image uh, you can also disable the footer or just leave it as it is at last you have to click on publish and then again publish so at least we can publish a blank page now let's go ahead we can click on uh, view page into a new tab so this is how it looks like the top section is the header and the bottom section is the footer right now we haven't created any content onto this page that's why the middle section of the body area has been hidden so as far as we'll start putting the content onto the body area the footer itself starts shifting downwards now let's go ahead we need to click on edit with elementor so the elementor screen will be loaded up okay so this is the elementor screen on the left hand side we can see there are so many widgets available that you can use to create your content but we are not going to use any of these content because i have already provided the template of my own landing page so this was the landing page i have provided the landing page link in the video description go over there download this uh, landing page template and you can directly import into your wordpress website just click on this uh, folder icon and then this pop up comes up now click on this icon and then select file now we need to locate that file onto my desktop so i just need to resize it first so it will be better visible to you okay and that is my folder and this is the sales page template let's click on open so it will be uploaded over here and the format is .json i mean .json file is over there so we are just uploading it and the exact same design will be imported so this is the sales page template you need to click on insert here we go so now you can see the entire design layout has completely been imported the all you have to do is just upload the media files i mean the images and uh, you if you have the uh, video over here then you can upload your own video but the entire structure has been imported let's click on update at the very bottom you can see update button so all these changes will be saved permanently now let's go ahead and we can refresh our home page so let's refresh it here we go so this is how it looks like you can see at the very top the domain is wordpress one dot site and within a couple of seconds we have just imported the entire web page so this is how it works now the all you have to do is just replace these placeholder images with the one that you already have so i can show you how exactly i do so in order to upload an image over here firstly we need to click on this pencil so the settings of this image widget opens on the left hand side then we can click on choose image here we can find out upload files we can click on select files and then we have to locate the same image onto our desktop so this is the image let's click on it and then we can click on open and it will be uploaded into our media library so we just need to wait for a couple of seconds all right so this image has been uploaded into the media library now we need to click on insert media and that image will appear over here something like this
so i think my internet is a little bit slow that's why it is loading and loading over here okay so this is the complete view at last click on update so all these changes will be saved permanently onto this page at last we need to refresh our home page here we go so you can see this is exactly looking the same that i have onto my landing page uh, it's loading up right now so this is my landing page now this is basically a custom header that i have created the same custom header you can also create onto your website I have created a separate lecture, a separate video on how to make a custom header. You can find the link in the video description. So in the same way, you can go ahead to each of these sections one by one. You need to just click on them like this pencil icon. This is basically a gallery widget. So it's a setting will be opened on the left hand side. Click on this uh, plus icon over here, then go on to the upload files and upload multiple images into the media library. So this is how you can completely uh, make this landing page. If you would like to change any of the text, just click on the pencil icon. The settings will be opened on the left hand side. Again, click on those text widget and then you can go ahead, change any of the text just like plugin like this. So it will also be updated on to the real time. Okay. At last, you need to click on update button over here. So all those changes will be saved. So this is what you need to do in the landing page area in order to create your landing page. Now, next thing is we have to set this page as the front page of the website. Right now, if you can see over here at the very top, WordPress one dot site is the main domain name. But to access this page, user have to add forward slash home as well along with the domain name. But this page must be opened when someone directly hit the main domain name that is WordPress one dot site. But when I open this domain, this is the default page that comes up. So what is the reason? The reason is that we have created a page with the name home, but we haven't specified this page as the very first page of the website. So how WordPress will understand? We have to do some settings into the backend area. So let's go ahead and we can log in into the dashboard area again. So this is the WordPress dashboard. Here we need to hover on settings and then click on reading. Now, right now, if you can see over here, your home page displays your latest post. So you need to select the second radio button and from this home page drop down, you have to select the page that you would like to set it as the front page or as the home page. So I have just selected home. At last, we need to click on save changes. And then after I need to go on to my main website, let's remove this home URL from here and let's open the main domain name. Here we go. So now you can see this is the main domain name and the page with the name home comes up as the front page of the website. So the landing page part has been done. Now our next step is we have to upload the course content onto a third party LMS website. So let's go ahead. We can open a website that is thinkific.com. I have provided the URL of this website in the video description as well. Thinkific.com is one of the best website. It is basically a pure LMS learning management solution over here. So you can upload your uh, course content onto this website and it allows you to host at least three courses free of cost. There is no size limit. You can upload n number of lectures onto this website. So firstly, we have to click on get started free button so we can create a free account on Thinkific.com. So I'm just typing over here my name that is Saddam and then Kasim. Here we can enter our email address. For example, I have so many email addresses just like uh, Saddam Kasim India at iCloud.com. Okay. And here we can create a password. I'm just creating one password over here. Of course, I will not reveal this password with you, right? <laughs> so let's click on create your account. I hope I have, I, I do not have any account with this email address. Okay. So it says, uh, I already have an account with this email address. So let's click on create new site. Okay. Now, are you already teaching online? You can select your own option from here. So we can just select, I have an online course and I'm switching from another course platform. Okay. Then after, do you already have a, a following an email list build? So just type over here, something like one, 200 people. And how much training material have you already produced? So here you can select your own appropriate option. My training content is ready built out as a course and I'm ready to go. Then after, would you identify yourself as a, so you can select your own option. I'm just selecting author blogger, uh, which industry will you be teaching in? So you can select your industry. I'm just selecting software and technology and how many people currently working in your organization. So let's select over here. Just me. <laughs> full time. That's why that's nice. And uh, approximately how much money have you already made charging for your knowledge? 
so right now we just need to select the very less over here that is less than one thousand dollars per year at last click on start creating courses so it will redirect you onto the course creation page thinkific is really a very great tool a very great website where you can upload your courses the speed is really awesome and you can create at least three courses on this free uh, account so right now over here first of all let's close this survey box on the left hand side you can see manage learning content let's click on it and then we have this courses uh, menu let's click on this courses menu and we can start creating one course over here so for example you are going to create a course to uh, teach people on wordpress development so here you can see this is just a demo course uh, you can also add a new course from here new course button so let's go ahead we can edit this course. this is just a draft course so we can click on it and a new window will be opened very soon onto our uh, browser okay let's close this pop-up now here you can see on the left hand side chapter one so just click on it and you can rename this chapter so let's say we can type over here getting started okay at last click on save now in this entire section we need to add lessons so click on add lesson and what type of lesson it could be is it a video is it a quiz multimedia file text whatever it is so just select video because uh, i'm sure you will be uh, you, you know you will be having your content in the form of uh, videos so right now we have just added a video lesson and just let's click on it on the right hand side we have to provide a title just like wordpress introduction okay and from here you can select a media file so just click on select file and you can upload an uh, a, a video from your desktop so uh, i just need to check over here that is the thing fake and i do webinars as well uh, okay this is the video let's upload it over here click on open it will be uploaded very soon into the uh, thinkific platform so this is the lecture one that we are going to complete in the thinkific platform we just need to wait for a couple of seconds so the video has been successfully uploaded over here as you can see the message your video is uploaded the video preview is processing and will be available shortly uh, let's close this tips over here okay and at last you have to click on save at the very bottom so this lesson will be saved completely also we have few more options available like uh, if you want to make this uh, lesson as the free preview lesson then you can select this checkbox otherwise leave it as it is also you can enable the discussion forum for this specific lecture so if the users have any kind of queries and questions regarding this lecture they can drop a message just along with this lecture itself after that if you would like to add a new lesson then you need to click on this add lesson box and then again select the type of the uh, lesson for example video just select it over here and it's setting open on the right hand side so we can type over here something like uh, wordpress so we can consider this as a second lecture and the title is wordpress advantages and then after again we have to select a new video file so go on to select file and then again upload a new file so let's select our new file from here uh, i need to find out onto my desktop okay so let's say i'm selecting this one so it will also be uploaded within a couple of seconds over here so this will be uh, this lecture number two that we are going to add in the same way you can add a new chapter then again a uh, some new lessons into that specific chapter and so on All right so let's cancel it otherwise it will uh, this will take a lot of time and we can also discard changes so second lesson has been deleted i have just uploaded one lesson now let's explore the other settings uh, leave this bulk importer settings uh, let's go on to the settings uh, we need to explore some settings over here so here we have the course name that is your first course you can give it a name just like wordpress development course right then you can specify your own course url just like wp course and you can type over something like development so it is really not mandatory but it's up to you whether you would like to set your own custom course url or not at last click on save so this url will be saved then after go on to course image and description and here you can set your own course uh, landing page description uh, so in this box you can provide over here something like uh, this is a complete web development course 
on WordPress platform for beginners so you can add up to 250 characters in this box and here you can upload uh, you know image for your uh, course so image really speaks a lot than words and uh, try to use a better image with the resolution of at least 760 pixel width and 420 pixel height you can use the canva.com in order to design your uh, you know uh, landing page image for your course so i'm just leaving this section as it is at last click on save and then we have few more options available over here which are really not needed just leave them as it is let's go on to the pricing section just make it free over here okay just make it free do not put any price over here because we are already going to use the uh, wordpress software in order to uh, set the pricing just make it free over here and we are not going to share the thinkific course url directly onto our uh, you know landing page this link will be hidden from the public just make it free course over here and then jump on to the publish and here it says your email must be verified to publish a course so we just need to verify our email address i'm just opening my mailbox so this is the verification email that i have received so let's click on confirm my account and my email address will be verified okay so i'm again redirected onto the thinkific page let's go on to the courses section again i'm just closing this uh, earlier tab okay let's click on course name now jump onto the publish tab and here you can see right now it is draft let's make it published and then click on save so this course is live onto the website now whenever someone directly opens the url that is saddam and then as a school 8480.thinkific.com they will automatically be redirected onto the course page i think we have changed the course url so let's go back to the setting again and we need to confirm okay so that is the url uh let's refresh it once again command c we can open it into a new tab okay that's fine so we have already logged in and this is the course which is available that is wordpress development course once i click on it it will show you uh, the landing page of this course so right now we have just added one lecture that is the reason wordpress installation lecture has been displayed over here and this is the uh, you know section title that we had already typed over there getting started now i hope you get an idea how exactly we can upload the course onto the thinkific.com this really helps you to speed up your uh, you know entire learning process and you do not need to handle the uh, space or the bandwidth of the uh, courses because videos are in uh, you know uh, gigabytes or sometimes they are more than 500 or 700 mb so if you will put these videos onto your wordpress website they will definitely slow down your wordpress site so for the better experience it is always recommended that you should use thinkific.com to upload your course files uh, you can upload n number of lectures so we have uploaded the course over here we have created the landing page onto the wordpress like this now it's time to deal with the payment section so here i recommend you to go ahead with the razor pay payment gateway if you are in india so razor pay is one of the best payment gateway and it has so many good features as well so i have provided the affiliate link in the video description if you use that link uh, i will get some commission but don't worry you will not be charged anything extra to your pocket so that will completely be the same uh, thing for you but if you will use my link you will get some benefits as well so let's go on to the razorpay.com and this is the payment gateway which works in india but if you are from outside india you can use some other platform just like uh, you know stripe payment gateway paypal payment gateway so most of the common payment gateways has almost good features so right now this is the razor pay payment gateway website you just need to click on sign up complete the entire process they will ask you for your email address your business details your uh, you know government id proof your bank details so once all these things are verified and confirmed then you will be able to log in into your razor pay account so i'm just going to log in into my razor pay account so this is my razor pay landing page let's log in into the account now this is the razor pay payment gateway and razor pay has so many great features that you can use so on the left hand side i can see this uh, payment pages tab let's click on it and we can create a payment page 
so here i have multiple courses over here as you can see this is just a one course uh, which has a total sales of 2497 uh, 95 rupees in the same way we have this course wordpress course it has more than 2 lakh uh, indian rupees sales and then we have this course that has more than 23000 rupees sales in total so let's go ahead and we can create a payment page so create payment page over here now we need to just go over here create your own let's go so in the first box we have to put the course name just like online web development course or i suggest you to put the same course name that you have used on to the thinkific platform so let's go over here under the courses the course name is wordpress development course so let's type over here wordpress development course now in the next box you can put the description about this course this could be better for seo as well as for better conversions you can also include the customer testimonials over here you can also upload the images by just using this option now here you can also add the social media icons so people can share this payment page on their social media walls so this can also you know uh, do the marketing for your course and then you have this contact us detail box here you can enter your email address and in this box you can provide your phone number just like i'm just putting my phone number over here and if you have any kind of terms and conditions then click on this option this box comes up enter your terms and conditions like refund policy and rest of the things now on the right hand side we can see amount field so let's click on this price field over here and then you have this fixed price option okay now here we have the label so either you can change this label something like course fee it is really not mandatory to change the title over here but i'm just changing it to course fee and here you can select the currency in which you are selling the course so right now you can uh, choose over here us dollars or uh, i'm selling the course as in indian rupees that's why indian rupees is selected over here and in this box we can enter the price just like 5000 for example and then click on save now next thing leave this field as it is email and phone customer have to fill both of these fields you can also collect the name from the customer by just clicking on this input field link and then you can select over here single uh, line text and here you can put the label just like name and then click on save so name field is also added we can put it at the top so now we are collecting name email address and phone number from the customer at last click on create and publish page now this is the exact url of this page as you can see over here this is the uh, encrypted url let's close this pop up because we have to do one more setting over here now when someone make the payment on to this page then he should be redirected on to the thinkific platform right so go on to the page settings and here you can see this is the url of this page and it has no expiry date and after successful payment show a custom message or redirect to a website so select this option now here we have to put the thank you page url but we haven't created any thank you page yet on to the wordpress website so let's go back to our wordpress website so go on to the pages add new and now we can give this page a title just like thank you and again go on to the extra settings make it no sidebar and then we can make it full width content that's fine uh disable the title breadcrumb and featured image at last click on publish now go on to the elementor and then we can take a section over here go on to the section settings and then on the left hand side we can see content with boxed and here you can set the height to fit to screen so it will completely occupy the height of the above the fold content now at the middle you can add a button over here in this button we can put some kind of text like sign up for a learner account align it to center now what link we have to paste over here just go on to the thinkific.com and this is the landing page of the course on thinkific.com right but you don't have to share this landing page with the audience now here you have to hover on your course and then you can see this share icon just click on it and here you will be finding this copy link just click on it the link of the thinkific landing page has been copied go on to a new tab and just paste that link and then hit enter so the landing page of thinkific website will be opened so this is your course landing page now here you can see this enroll button just right click on it and then copy link so whatever the link it has it will be copied and the same link you have to paste in your wordpress website onto the thank you page so here is the thank you page button over here and in this link box you have to paste that enroll button link okay so this is the link that you have to paste over here at last click on update 
also we can put a heading over here just to indicate uh, for the user that you have successfully signed up okay so here we can change the text something like congratulations you are successfully enrolled to the wordpress course align it to center and change the text color from here to something like dark black we can change the font family from here uh, let's make it 400 okay also we can change the entire background of this section so go on to this style and here we have this background type from the background color let's make it something like a bluish type color that looks better okay at last click on update now go on to this hamburger icon click on view page and this is the thank you page url just copy it from here go on to the uh, razor pay and here you have to paste that thank you page url of your wordpress website then click on save and then at last save and publish page okay so that's all you had to do now copy this uh, payment url link over here just copy it now it's time to go on to our course landing page so i think this is the course landing page uh, i need to enable the elementor page builder again so let's refresh this page first of all i am already logged in into the wordpress dashboard that's why the top bar is showing over here and we can also see this edit with elementor link let's click on it so the elementor screen will be loaded for uh, for the home page all right now in the enroll now button we have to paste the link of the razor pay so here we have to paste the same link so when someone click on this button they will be redirected onto the razor pay payment page and once the payment will be done then they will be redirected onto the thank you page and from the thank you page they will be redirected onto the thinkific page so this is the entire process so just go ahead change the link of each of the button that we have onto this page so this is the razor pay url and i'm not going to do all uh, to update the links of all the buttons let's click on update over here and one more thing let's go ahead we can change the price to something like 100 rupees so i will show you live by just making the payment let's click on save and then publish so we have changed the price of this course to just 100 rupees all right now we can close it the job of razor pay has completely been over so let's log out from here okay now close all the tabs we do not need any of these tabs because we have done all the job and it's time to open the front page so view page i am going to log out from my uh, wordpress dashboard as well okay so this is the main website wordpress one dot site we have created the landing page over here so this is a beautiful landing page you can add more media files over here now we can click on this enroll now button so i forgot to update the price over here but that's okay let's click on enroll now and we will be redirected on to the razor pay page so here you can see this is the payment page all the details are over here we need to enter my name so let's say saddam kasim and then i can put my email address over here i have so many email addresses and then we can put our phone number okay at last click on pay 100 rupees so you can add your own price okay then we have these type of payment methods available so i'm just going to pay through the phone pay wallet let's click on pay rupees 100 then it will send a link onto my phone so i'm just going to make the payment so here uh, send otp to login okay i need to check my phone now i got the otp so let's enter over here then login and then they will send uh, you know the payment request on to my phone pay app so let's click on pay rupees 100 now i need to check my phone so customer can have so many multiple options to make the payment they can have debit card credit card net banking option there are so many options they can use so i just got the link onto my phone pay app now let's go ahead and we can make the payment okay so the payment has been done i hope you have heard the sound on my phone so total 100 rupees have been done now it is redirecting as you can see over here it is redirecting me onto the thank you page now at the very top you can see that is the thank you page url and once i click on this sign up for a learner account i will be redirected onto the th uh, thinkific page so now you can see it is redirecting me onto the thinkific page because i have al already logged in into the account that's why it is redirected me over here 
but if someone has not logged in then it will redirect to create an account on thinkific that will be free of cost and the user will be able to access the course so this is the whole mechanism that we are going to use uh, in order to sell your online courses and the same mechanism i do use now if you are also a content creator and you do have your online courses and you want to sell those courses then you can also contact me directly i can help you to boost your sales i provide many paid services through which i can drive traffic onto your landing page and then there are so many other strategies that really work to convert the visitors into the customer to convert the uh, cold uh, you know cold customers into the hot sales so uh, i have also used the same mechanism to boost my sales i have also shown you my razor pay account of how much amount of uh, income i have generated by just selling my online courses so uh, online course business is really at the boom in the market and the future is really bright so if you too want to uh, increase your sales of the course then you can directly contact me i have provided my contact link in the video description and everything you can find out in the the uh, description just below this video so if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel leave your positive comment and like this video share with your audience all right i hope this video was helpful thank you so much